in this video we're going to show you how to restore an exterior door jam that's uh, extremely weather beaten, peeling and cracking. In this video we've got a Wagner paint eater with a Wagner paint eater disc. We're going to use actually sand the door jam. We've got a caulking gun. We're using Sherwin's 950A caulking um, interior exterior silicone acrylic latex caulking. We've got XIM peel bond to do the priming of the door jam. We use that for all of our exterior priming. We've got a pretty uh, blue bristle, stiff bristle brush that we use for actually doing the peel bonding and a painter's five-in-one tool to we use it to open the can. So we're going to do this one side of the door jam. I've already done one side of it, sanded this one side. We're going to work on this other side, sand it real quick, and then we're going to do the caulking and peel bonding. much easier to do the sanding if we can get the door open but the customer's not home so we don't have access to open the door. But the paint eater disc uh, takes off paint really fast, feathers the edges, makes them round, and feathers the paint edges so it doesn't look so chunky anymore. It would be more ideal to replace the brick molding but the customer doesn't want to do that at this point. And um, so now we'll open up our peel bond. That ready and then get my caulking gun here, or Sir William's caulking, and I actually re-caulk the, the edges of the door jam so the seams meet. So I'll put pretty heavy feet of caulking this door jam here. pretty important that you pump that caulking down inside that crack to fill the crack completely. If the crack doesn't get completely filled with caulking, it will split open again. We'll try to smooth these edges out too, these bumps and cracks right here with caulking too. Lay out our bead of caulking on the seam here, brick mold to the door jam. Get rid of some of the excess caulking on the nail heads over here. Got some cracks up here. Fill too. Try to use the caulking to level out these edges and stuff to make it a little bit smoother looking. This is going to be the rough prep work on this thing and I'm going to put some peel bond on it here in just a minute here. Make these corners look a little bit nicer. Get these edges out a little bit with some caulking. I always caulk underneath the drip metal. Now that's all rough cut. Now I'm going to take my 
PO bond. And we're gonna put our PO bond on. A nice, good, heavy coat of PO bond. You can go right over the caulking because they're both latex-based products and they'll both still dry. And we apply this peel bond really, real heavy with our brush. You can see I'm putting it on extremely thick and this stuff is like really thick glue and it won't run no matter how heavy you put it on. And this is going to fill in all the little hairline cracks and um, all the edges of the paint that's peeling. This will glue and seal all those edges back up. And the parts that wouldn't come off and we continue this over the whole door jam just like that that's what it looks like we actually put some black tint in the peel bond so we can actually see where we put it when it dries because it'll it'll dry clear if you don't put any tint in it so we tint it apply the peel bond and we're going to apply one coat now and the peel bond will dry for approximately an hour and then we'll apply a second coat just like that and that door jam will look uh, pretty nicely restored con considering the condition it was in and um, if the customer doesn't want to pay to have the door jam replaced that's a good option. This is Chris from BNK Painting.